Hey everybody, welcome back. This is our midweek service, so to speak. Yay. This is David and Carol Joy, Patreon, our Patreon crew, our journeyers. Thank you so much for sponsoring this and putting this on. We love you so much. Yes. So we have been talking, we're gonna jump right into teaching today because uh, really was on my heart for this whole series that we're doing on Sundays. And then we're taking over on Wednesdays. It's like a takeover on the teaching part of it. But we've been talking about Jesus, the good news of Jesus the coming. Good news. Merry Christmas yes. to you, by the way. Yes. And, um, this, Jesus is the reason for the season. It's absolutely brilliant that yes. he came for us, and it's I'm speechless about it. Yes. But we've been talking about Jesus, and this last Sunday I talked about the healer is born. And we're going to be talking about that so today. Good. And I really want you to have your ears turned yes. up because, you know, I'm a preacher and I can preach. Um, the message very, very in tunely. But Carol Joy, my girlfriend, my wife, my everything, God has gifted her since she was a child. She always knew she was going to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so that gift of teaching is on her. So she's going to blow up and expound what was taught on Sunday. So you're in for a treat today. I'm just going to dive right in. Yes. So. This is so exciting. Yeah. I loved your teaching. It was so good. The healer is born and that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you started with the scripture verse, John 10, 10, mm. which it says, he gave us life and life more abundantly, which means he gave us healing yes. and healing more abundantly. Come on, preach Well, it. if you rewind just a little, yeah. it says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. And that's not Jesus. Mm -mm. So who is the destroyer here? Come on. There's different types of things that come into this world and the yeah. enemy, the devil, brings those things in. And the thief right now, the destroyer right now, Preach it. Yeah. is the coronavirus. That coronavirus yep, yep, yep. is the destroyer right now. And that is not Jesus no. because it says Jesus gave us life. Mm -hmm. The coronavirus is not giving us life. No way. So we need to understand first and foremost where it is coming from. Yes, and so good. God would not ever, ever put sickness on you. Yeah. And we need to know that. Yes. First and foremost, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus was birthed into this world to show you that health is yours. Yay. And you said Jesus changed history. He has. Which he did. He did. He came into this world and that's the good news. He came into this world Hallelujah. to change history. Thank God. Yes. He's changed our <laughs> that lives. That should be in our textbooks everywhere. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it is in the Bible. It is. Amen. It is. Yes. He's definitely changed history. And I'm we're all speechless. I know you are too. Without him, we're nothing. Yes. And with him, we're everything. And he's our Amen. big healing advocate. Everything about health. Yes. So one of the scriptures that you brought up was Matthew 4, 23 through 25. And yeah. I'm going to share it in the Amplified. Oh, good. Because it was so good. It's all about Jesus and what he did. Yeah. And he came, which is Jesus. He went through all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news, and that's what we're talking about. So Jesus preached the, the good, good news. news, which is the gospel yes. of the kingdom and healing, mm. healing every kind of disease and every kind of sickness among the people, demonstrating and revealing that he was indeed the promised Messiah. <sighs> Hallelujah. Praise so God. the good news about him spread throughout all of Syria and they brought to him all who were sick, those suffering with various disease and pain, those under the power of demons and epileptics, paralytics. Hallelujah. And he healed them. He healed every single one of them. Yes. Jesus is the healer. Yes, he is. So the coronavirus is under all of this and Jesus is your healer. Amen. He healed them all. Yes. So. Wow. Listen, number one, Jesus was teaching, preaching and healing and he healed 
them all. Yes. Wow. He's your healer. Yes, he is. Just receive that you, today. Jesus. He yes. is your healer. Yeah. He's the same yesterday, today, mm -hmm. and Before forever. So he hasn't changed his mind. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Number two, Jesus never, ever told anyone that you're sick to learn something. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, that's right. Listen, yeah. Yeah. when Jesus wow. was here on the earth, he never said, I'm sorry, you're sick. You, you need to learn a lesson right now. And there's people out there that are saying that. Well, you're learning a lesson from this. No, no. Jesus never ever, never, ever taught by putting sickness on you. That's right. Never. Yeah. Jesus never said that you're sick because you deserve it. Never. Never. Mm -mm. You don't deserve it. No one deserves it. Jesus came to give us life and life everlasting. Yes. So we need to develop our faith mm. for ourselves. Yeah. You know, uh, you were talking about a pastor and his wife and how every time the wife got sick, she always uh, wanted her husband, husband yeah. to heal her, to, to lay, lay hands, hands on, on her, her which is her. really important. And, you know, that made me think because anytime I get hurt or I'm not feeling well, I ask my hubby, lay hands on me. I love to do which it. Which is good, which is very good because yeah. I know that he's got that healing power in him and that I receive it. It's all Jesus. It's all <laughs> but Jesus. Here's but here's the thing. Yeah. We also need to be strong enough to be healed for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of, um, a lot of ministers today, we all need to know that, that yes, we lay, we, I have faith to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover because that's what the scripture says. Yeah. But we also need to be strong enough for ourselves and to keep the word of God in for ourselves to keep ourselves strong. It's very and important. so we will keep our body strong if we keep our spirit strong. And that was another scripture verse that you Love said, that scripture. which was yeah. Proverbs 18, 14. And yeah. I want to share that scripture with you. It's very important. The strong spirit of a man sustains him in bodily pain or trouble, mm -hmm. but a weak and broken spirit who can raise up or bear. Yeah. So it is very important that each and every one of us are keeping our spirit strong. It's really important because, you know, and that there's many more scriptures besides that. Mm -hmm. But when we do keep strong spiritually, you know, when the devil tries to come in our lives, our kids, our children, our business, whatever we're doing, our schooling, yeah. whatever it is, we're able to see him yeah. because we're spiritually strong and in tune. I think it's so important when you're teaching this is a treat that you're teaching this i just Hallelujah. love this well you know because god wants you healed yeah yeah he wants you to stay healthy and whole yep. all the days of your life and so there's so many different facets to this and we can't when someone does go on to be with the lord or they have died because of different situations we can't figure it out for ourselves that's between them That's right. and the Lord. Yeah. And so we can't, uh, by someone else's experience, yeah. judge. Mm -mm. No. We need to stay with the word of God and yeah. what, the, what God says about it. Amen. I remember when my sister, um, she's a year older than me, when she, uh, we can't explain what happened. We believe it was a drug overdose and she could have possibly took her life. She was in depression and yeah. very suicidal from what happened in our childhood. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, you know, when she passed, the Lord gave me the verse and we'll put it underneath here, that the secret things belong to him. He That's said, good. David, the secret things belong to me. She's with me now. Just leave it alone. Don't try to figure it out. Just yeah. move on with your own life. You know, she loved you, you loved her, but it's time to move on now. And that's the hardest thing when you lose somebody that you love so much. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, thank God we're gonna see him again. And we have to focus yeah. our brain on that. Otherwise we'll get down in the dumps. That's right. You know, so. Well, and so now just discussing this again, we need to always be on the offense. That's good. And that means that we always need to keep our spirit strong. Yeah. We need to keep our 
body strong yeah. and do everything that we know to do. Correct. Be on the offense. Yeah. It's so easy to just get so busy during your days, sure. your weeks, yeah. your months, and all of a sudden something hits you yeah. and you weren't keeping yourself strong and it hits you. So now you become on the defense yeah. and now you have to do everything you know to do when your body is low and you have sickness on your body. It's harder at that point true. to get strong again. Yeah. So it's important to be on the offense. So let's talk about how can we be on the offense? Yeah. You know, there's the natural and there's the spiritual side of things. And we say, we have talked about this, this is what we have been brought up to know, <laughs> and we've learned is that the natural and the That's spiritual right. come together to make an explosive force Amen. for God. Amen. So we need to do everything in the natural yeah. that we know to do, yeah. and we need to do everything in the spiritual that we know to do. So in the natural, like you were talking about, it's important that we take care of our body wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So if there's something in your body, that's not doing well, ask God, that's ask right. him for wisdom. You know, it says in James, uh, you can ask First for chapter. wisdom, yep. Yep. ask for wisdom. Maybe there's something that you're putting in your body that is not good for your body. Yeah. Everybody's body is different. Like yeah. I figured out that, uh, there's certain things that my body just doesn't digest as well as other things. Mm -hmm. And you learn that. So if there's stuff, we already know that sugar brings your immune system down. And in this holiday season, we have to be careful, <laughs> right? I love sugar. I love so sweets. just make sure that you're doing everything in the natural. So God can give you wisdom. Maybe there's something that you're yeah. putting in your body yeah. that isn't good for your body. And you probably already know it and you're not listening. Listen, I we are all going through the same thing, right? Yeah. So it's important to do everything in the natural, eating the right foods. If there's something that's not good for you, that God is going to show you and give you wisdom, stop eating it. And then also, you know, taking care of by uh, exercising, you know, it's not true. going overboard, but just getting out and walking and, you know, being stuck in our house. Sometimes it's not good for our bodies. We need to get out it's there true. and just take a walk around yeah. the block. Yeah. So that's all the natural things, right? Yeah. Then the supernatural, that is getting in the word of Thank God. God. So good. And I just want to so encourage good. you, Pastor David, he had it on his heart to, uh, to put healing scriptures together. So you can go on to believersinternational.church and there is the video of healing scriptures and he puts it on the screen so you can see it and you can hear it and you can even speak it out of your own mouth. But those healing scriptures, let me tell you, it changes your life. You're getting your spirit stronger that way. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. especially if you're, if you are weak, just listen to those healing scriptures constantly every single night. Since I have known this man, I listen <laughs> to healing scriptures and there's nights where I'll put it on and David's like, could you turn that down? Just Last night it was bit? loud. I walk in the room, she's getting <laughs> ready for bed and know. I'm like, I'm holy so cow. Used to hearing it. <laughs> no, but it's good. It's good. There's even yes. a strength scriptures and we've gotten good Amen. testimony from our strength scriptures on there too, but it's all God. Yes. God be all the glory for us. But that's building your, your spiritual man and yeah. getting your spiritual inside of you stronger. Yeah. A strong spirit sustains a man in bodily harm. So we just want to encourage you today. Healing is yours. Yes, the healer is. came. Yes, he was born. And we are celebrating. That yeah. is the good news. Wow. Jesus came yeah. to heal all. And he's healing you right now in the name of Jesus. And we just want to pray for you right now. Yeah. Father, yeah. we just thank you for your healing power working mightily in each and every body right now. Jesus, you came to give us life and life everlasting, and that is healing. So we speak to your body right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Jesus, your healing power is working mightily 
in their bodies to produce cures right now. Give them wisdom and insight. If there's something that they are doing that is not good for their body, show them right now. In Jesus, Jesus name. name. Father, I thank you for thank peace. You, Father. Peace in their heart, yes. peace in their mind, peace just deep down in their soul, Father. We thank you. A lot of people are going through so much during this season, yes. but Father, you're there. And Jesus, you said, I, the Prince of Peace. We thank speak you, peace, Father. peaceable habitation, quiet resting place, yes. assured dwelling into their home, into their life, yes. into wherever they're at. In Jesus' name. And we speak rest. Ooh. That is another key. That's amazing. You need yeah. to rest. Yeah. So we speak peace in the nighttime, that your body can be healing while you're resting. So important. Thank you for the best sleep ever tonight Thank for you, each Father. and every one of them. Whew. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We're just so grateful. Grateful that we can minister to you, that we can come together, that you're joining the journey. Yeah. We encourage you. Go on to Patreon. We want to be partners together. Yes. So we just are grateful for that. Well, listen, thank you so much. This is such a treat yes. when she teaches and I just, I love it. So thank you again. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. And we say, Be we, encouraged. oh my gosh, we yes. love to encourage you. We get encouraged by encouraging you. So again, enjoy the season. Yes. Enjoy every <laughs> season. Thank God, yes. Jesus, you came, yes. you born our healer. This is the good news we can share with our families and yes. friends. God bless you for God joining us. You. We're going to say for the kingdom because everything we all do is for yeah. God's kingdom. So on the count of three together, we're going to say for the kingdom. One, two, three. For, for the, the kingdom. kingdom. God bless you guys. Have a great week. Join us every week. Uh, you'll get encouraged. You'll get inspired. And we love you yes. so much. Leave comments down below. Prayer requests. We'd love to subscribe. hear from you. And subscribe. Yes. In Jesus' name, have a great week.